Welcome back. And now it's time for our upcoming local events. And Kate, there's going to be a pancake breakfast at Chili's here in Tahlequah, March the 6th, 8 a.m. to 10 a.m. Tickets are on sale at Bank First and at the Tahlequah Area Chamber of Commerce. They're $5 for adults and three for children. The proceeds benefit the Habitat House number 18. And I can't believe that they've done 18 houses here in Tahlequah. I think that's awesome. Habitat does a great job. Something else coming up, Patty, the Humane Society of Cherokee County has a donation night at Catfish Kitchen. That's March the 6th from 4.30 to 8 p.m. And also, Patty, they do that the first Saturday of each month from 4.30 to 8 p.m. there at Catfish Kitchen. They will donate 15% of their sales to the Humane Society of Cherokee County. And you recently got a dog, didn't I you? I did, I did. Yeah. The Tahlequah Area Lupus Support Group Meeting in Tahlequah City Hospital the third floor plaza conference room and that's going to be March the 13th 11 a.m. The purpose of the group meeting is to provide lupus and fibromyalgia education support and sharing. Please join us to learn more about these diseases and how they affect our lives and get support from those who understand when you don't look sick. For more information call 453-2858. The Galaxy of Stars series is in its 24th year, Patty, and the next show coming up is Neil Berg's 100 Years of Broadway. It will be done at the Tahlequah High School Performing Arts Center, March 25th at 7.30 p.m. This is a musical review of Broadway's most celebrated shows and features a dazzling cast of Broadway stars accompanied by an all-star New York band. If you'd like reservations or more information, call the Sequoia Institute at 918-458-2075. And the Tahlequah Community Playhouse presents Bull in a China Shop. And it's a mystery, a mystery dinner theater. And it's going to be held here at the Armory Municipal Center Auditorium. We call it AMC. I think that sounds so cool. 100 North Water Street's location here in Tahlequah, April the 16th through the 18th. And then again the following weekend, April the 23rd through the 25th. The dinner begins at 6.30 and one hour later is the dinner. Reservations are required and must be paid for in advance. The TCP is a nonprofit organization, and for tickets and to make those reservations, please call 456 5583 or 458 9406. And please remember, as early as you can, purchase those tickets. And Patty, did you know that this is the 34th year for the Tahlequah Community Playhouse? I think that that's is great. amazing. It's we wonderful. We have some very talented people in this community. We do, and a lot of people who like to attend plays. Mm -hmm. uh, Patty, and I would like to invite you and everybody out there watching to tune into a new television show here on INTV. It's called Tour Tahlequah. Uh, I have some involvement with that show, and it, it's, it touches something very near and dear to my heart, tourism in Tahlequah. It's on daily at 8.30 and 6.30 here on INTV and Patty I think that you and a lot of other people out there watching it will be surprised and happy to learn how many things there are to do activity wise in Tahlequah all year long. Well I think it's about time we have something to tout our tourism. I do too so once again 8 30 a.m. 6 30 p.m. daily here on INTV. And now it's time for a news clip from the Cherokee Phoenix. Well, I auditioned for the original production about three years ago, but my good friend Kimberly Guerrero got the part, and um, it was, I remember reading the play and just being taken with it and thinking, what an amazing role. Whenever I found out Kimberly, who was also native from Oklahoma, got the role, I was, ex I was so excited. It's always nice when you have a friend that's working. And so, um, oh goodness, back in April, I was doing a play in Indiana at the Indiana Repertory Theater, and I get a call from Kimberly saying, that there's going to be a national tour and that she doesn't want to do it and she was going to recommend me for the role. And they called Steppenwolf and said, this is the girl you want. Well, I grew up in Liberty, which is a very small town. We don't even have a stoplight. Uh, I went to school at Muldrow and um, I patterned Jonna and just her mannerisms after my mother. My mother in the summer would take these odd and in jobs and sometimes she would have to 
take care of uh, different people in our neighborhood. And just watching how my mother handled that with such grace and dignity, when anyone else would have left there feeling mortified or uh, put down. And my mother always seemed to, no matter how mean these people were to her, she was able to leave that job with her, held, her head held high. Usually if you're a Native woman and you're doing television or film, you're always a victim. And so they allowed a Native woman to not be the victim. And you know, since we're Cherokee and we're matrilineal, that, was, that really spoke to me. Um, I love playing Native roles, and I love the fact that Native roles are going to Native people, because I believe that we have a history that only we can share, and that you could cast any other ethnicity in that role, and they're not going to quite encompass the complexity of that role. So it's, a, it's kind of a double-edged sword. I, I love that we have Native roles and that Native people are getting them, but the truth is we're modern-day people. I'm now the chair of the President's National Task Force of the American Indian of the Screen Actors Guild, and we're working on educating the industry about who we are as a people. And so we were slowly getting there. We're still here. We still exist, and we're still proud of who we are. And Kate, now it's time for the two-minute tip of the week. Hi, this is Mayor Ken Purdy with your two-minute tip of the week. If you have an interest to bring business before the city of Tahlequah, uh, there's a couple of ways you can do so. Uh, one is you can certainly look on our internet site, that's cityoftahlequah.com, and look at all the various boards, like our Planning and Zoning Commission. If you had an issue dealing with uh, zoning of a residential or commercial lot in the community, you would first petition or request the uh, information from Planning and Zoning Commission and they can get you on their agenda and ultimately they would make a recommendation after hearing the matter they'd make a recommendation to the city council it gets easier if you want to talk to the city council if you want to bring an item of business before the city council that doesn't need to go through one of our boards a couple of ways to do that one is the typical way is to simply submit the request to the Tahlequah city clerk located in city hall at 111 south cherokee the other way is you can simply email the mayor. Again, back to the city website, send a written request, uh, phone it in, or email the mayor at cityatahlequah.com with that request for your business, and we'll send it over to the city clerk for presentation on the next business agenda. Tahlequah City Council meets approximately every two weeks, the first Monday of the month, unless there's a holiday, and then typically about two weeks later. When we come back, Kate and I will be joined by Mayor Ken Purdy. So don't you go anywhere. We'll be right back. 